Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is the first installment of a fall series that I'm gonna be doing. Today I'm doing some hair, makeup, we're gonna be touching a little bit on fall fashion, some DIY and some home decor, and this is gonna launch my fall series. But this video is in collaboration with Nordstrom Rack, so huge thanks to them for supporting this video, and let's just jump right in. So I'm starting by picking out my outfit for the day. I really love plaid and I have been wearing a lot more of it the past few years. So I've used a variety of different beauty balms in the past. I really like this one right now. I like beauty balms because they treat the skin. They also mattify. They generally have multi-purposes, so this one's also a primer. And um, it's a great brand of makeup Too Faced. And I love that Nordstrom Rack carries such great brands of makeup. And also this product is vegan. So if you are a vegan, I would look into this product because from my understanding, it is vegan. For cheeks, I go for peachier hues in the summer, but in the fall, I like to go for a little bit deeper colors. So for my eyes, I'm using this NYX palette. I really like this color combination, and these browns and kind of more neutral and also maroon colors tend to look best with my eye shape. So I'm gonna put a little bit of eyeshadow on, and then I'm gonna use the NYX Zaza Zoo Mascara. So my routine every day pretty much includes some gel for my eyebrows, so just to keep them intact. And then in the fall months, I like to go for vampier lip colors. I don't wear a lot of makeup in the summer, but I always go for a vampy color on my nails and on my lips in the fall. I just think it's fun to mess around with it, so I'm using this Urban Decay color. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of lip gloss on top just to soften it. I really like the Rose Solve. This is definitely a great product and one of my beauty must-haves. It smells amazing. So I'm putting a little bit of that over the lip color and next it's time to move into hair. I normally wear my hair down but I've been liking it out of my face so I'm doing half up half down. The top portion is going to be put into a bun. The bottom portion I'm going to brush my hair out and then I'm going to flip my head over. I'm going to divide my hair into three sections and do a simple braid going up. So you're going to add the top portion of your hair with this and it's going to create a braided ponytail which is super cute and trust me if I can do this you can do this because I am not the world's greatest braider. Um, the only downside to this hairstyle was that you do have a um, part that you can see so you can soften the part with a hairbrush and some hairspray. I went in and did that and I also have some layers so I had a little cockatoo at the top but I got so many compliments on this hairstyle and it was really comfortable and it kept my hair out of my face for the day so I loved it. So next I'm showing you how to make this DIY pumpkin spice creamer because it just isn't a fall morning if you don't have a pumpkin spice latte. They can be expensive so make it yourself. I'm toasting up some allspice in a medium saucepan, adding some pumpkin puree and a little bit of brown sugar and I'm just gonna toast this up, get this nice and warm. And then I'm gonna remove this off of the heat and I'm going to add some heavy cream and a little bit of milk. If you are a vegan, you can add some almond milk instead or rice milk, whatever you prefer. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this a really good whisk. Fall also really inspires the way that I decorate my home. And you can start with adding simple pieces like a great plaid pillow and throw to keep your couch comfortable. These are in great fall colors. Also a simple bouquet in the beautiful fall colors. I have this yellow cylinder vase that I'm putting those into, which add a nice touch. And I'm gonna add a little pumpkin creamer to my coffee and just enjoy these little amenities before I leave for the day. I love flat riding boots, especially in the fall and cooler months. So I got these brown pair for this season. I've always had black, but never brown, and I'm excited to kind of experiment with this new color. They're super comfortable, and I'm just pairing them with jeans, and there's so many different ways to pair them, but I'm gonna put these on. So I experimented with the brown boots and this high-low maroon plaid top, super comfy and flowy, and I'm running around after a two and a half year old and just trying to keep up with them. So the flat boots are definitely 
ideal for me right now at this time in my life. But you know, this look is definitely like I'm getting ready to go ride a horse. So there's so many different ways to pair it. You could do flats, black flats, black boots. You could do sneakers. There's so many ways to make this cute for the fall. And I'm actually sharing a few other looks on the Nordstrom Rack channel, some fall trends that I'm loving. So go check that out. And huge thanks to them for supporting and collaborating with me on this video. If you like my fall videos, go check out my last year's fall videos before I upload this year's and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.